also the reason I do these videos is I have a lot of uh, stuff in my own head that I want to I want to you know express I suppose is probably the best way to put it anyway I, I listen to people talk about how God can't be real because so many bad things happen in the world and and how a, a good God couldn't allow such terrible tragedy such terrible injustice to go on and uh, and how you know diseases and plagues and and destruction and holocausts um, the, a, a real God that said that is who he says he is in our Bible um, couldn't allow stuff like that to happen but when I when I was struggling myself with with worry I, you know I was I was saved. I, I found God a long time ago, but um, there was a point where I became very fearful that I was going to miss what uh, what God was trying to tell me. That I was going to get uh, lost or distracted or or um, uh, make mad, mad uh, terrible mistakes that uh, that would. Uh, you know, cause me and other people around me trouble, obviously. And so there's a lot of fear involved. And, 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 uh, so I was, I was praying one day. I remember actually I was ironing <laughs> and I was praying and I was like, God, I don't, I don't know how I can know that, that what I believe about you is true. How I can know, um, that I'm not going to do something that's going to be bad, uh, you know, in your eyes, as well as the the eyes of uh, mankind or anything like that, it's a it's that fear that I think a lot of people have that that uh, they're going to make tragic mistakes in the eyes of God or in in, uh, in their own lives, and and I realize that that I have a son of my own, I have a daughter of my own, and. Uh, if God is who he says he is in the Bible, if God is indeed uh, omnipotent and omniscient and, uh, and created the universe, then if I truly from my heart want to know God and want to follow him, and he knows that, um, as human as I am and, and as much as I deal with my own flesh, he knows my heart and if from our heart we we're trying to search for God, I believe that God allows us to find the truth about Him. So that took me to the the idea that if if there is a great God, if there is a Creator of the universe, that Creator of the universe wants to have a connection with us, and uh, and that want to have that connection with us gives him joy when we want to have a connection with him. I think that I believe the reason that we're here is is so that he could have um, that connection, that that uh, relationship with us, or he wouldn't have kept us here. I mean, he certainly has had many opportunities to wipe wipe the slate clean, start over again. There there was the whole flood, and he he uh, but he kept remnant of mankind and of the animals. He didn't completely annihilate and start over again, as far as we know. So the question then is, is uh, if, if he wants us to know him, then, and if we want to know him, then wouldn't it seem uh, clear that that he would make that possible for us, and he would protect the truth of that. Now, many people would say, well, you know, why are there over a billion Muslims in the world, and why are there so many people that are that are lost? And, and you know, many times I certainly am not the authority to answer those questions completely, but what I feel in my spirit is that if a person truly wants to know God and, and doesn't just want to be connected to a man-made religion, if he truly wants to know God, um, then God knows that and God will reveal himself to them in one way or another, make it possible for them to know. 
my epiphany, my ding moment, my epiphany when I was ironing was that Solomon, God sent an angel and came to Solomon. He says, ask for anything that you want. Now Solomon was the son of David and Solomon asked for wisdom. God honored that request because it wasn't for riches and, and uh, popularity. It wasn't for power. Um, he honored that request because it was a pure-hearted request that he wanted to know God. He wanted to know the truth of the universe and God. Well, now our capacity to accept and, and absorb the whole truth of the universe is limited, obviously, because we can't get our arms around the whole universe. Even Morgan Freeman would say in one of his television shows that, that uh, if you can't encompass the universe, if you can't see the farthest reaches of the universe, there's no way that you can understand them. We can't even see the bottom of the ocean. We can't even see deep into our own uh, bodies, let alone be able to understand the universe. So our ability to understand everything is limited, and, and, and that's okay. You know, we don't have to under, understand everything that God understands. That's God's job to do that. That's God's place in the universe. Just as an ant can't understand us, um, we can't understand God. That's okay. It doesn't mean things aren't good and things aren't in their place. The key is that God gives us what we need um, if we really want it. The key is trust and, and, and um, purity of heart, I believe. If you, if you ask God for wisdom, if that's your, your main goal, which, by the way, what else could there be that would be better than to have the knowledge of truth and the understanding of wisdom, if you have the, the wisdom, there, there could be very little that would bring more to the table in your life than that. You at least know um, the direction to take. So if we come to God with a pure pureness of heart and we want wisdom, then I believe that he will give it to us. I think, in fact, there are several scriptures in the Bible that say that. You can do your own research. I've looked around and there are several things that say it. I can't quote them off the top of my head. Terrible memory for scripture numbers. I remember the words a lot of times, but not the numbers. But so that being said, part of uh, our journey in getting to know God is coming to the place to where we let go of our own arrogance, our own God complex to believe that we can be um, the greatest thing ever, and 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 uh, I mean that in the way that to think that 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 we are gods in our own right. So if we can let go of that and and jump off of that cliff, which we all, if we if we're uh, believers in uh, Jehovah God in the and His Son Jesus, there comes a place where you have to step off of the cliff and say, okay, I'm going to trust you. I don't understand what you do all the time. I don't understand why you do it all the time. And certainly in my, in my uh, narrow thinking, before I actually connect with the Holy Spirit, I can't understand it. So I have to trust. The scripture, I've mentioned this before, the scripture, John 3.16, the word believeth in John 3.16, um, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have eternal life. Believe it, that word translated from the Greek, the Greek word is pisteuo, P-I-S-T-E-U-O. And that word means to entrust. Trusting the character of God to say, like, um, if you were to find the person in this world, if there is a person in this world that you trust, luckily I have great uh, parents that I, I trust completely, um, to trust the character of a person is, uh, is to understand that they have your best interest at heart and the best interest of the greater good at heart, and so you can trust that they're going to do what they should do. Um, that to the nth degree as far as trusting God, to say, God, um, I don't understand what you understand. I can't understand what you understand but I'm going to trust that you are good. And the reason I'm going to trust that you are good is that I've seen 
some things that show me that you seem to be better than anything else I know. And that's the first step. Once you take that leap, and once you actually decide to trust, let me tell you that's the key. Let me tell you from my personal experience that once you decide to trust, once you get past your own head noise and, uh, and your own fear of that trust and realize that you don't have much to lose by trusting, you really, truthfully, in the end, you, you have more, much more to gain, um, but you don't know that. But once you come to that place and you trust, the, the world and the universe opens up to you in a way that you cannot possibly imagine. Um, you begin to see things in a light that, that helps you to understand. And so the more you look, the closer you inspect with that trust in your heart, the more comes to light and you begin to see the world through the eyes of God and you begin to see what he's doing. And, and when you see what he's doing and you start to understand him, and then it all makes a lot more sense and the trust gets easier. And, and I'm not talking about Scientology trust. I'm talking about seeing, believing in the, the small pieces of what you've seen already and learning to trust and then building on that trust with proof over and over and over again. It's not coincidence. It's not um, anything other than, than seeing the proof over and over and over again. And it's incredible. And it's amazing. And when you do it, you'll never go back. There are some people that, that, uh, that believe that they have, have uh, given their life to the Lord. But... Um, I believe that if you think that you've given your life to the Lord and you can turn back and say, there is no God, I believe in my finite 